Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to post Instagram media from Google Drive. Here my objective is that as soon as I'm going to upload a new file or a new image in a specific folder of Google Drive, automatically the same image should be shared as a post on my Instagram account. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to connect both these applications and because they do not have any kind of native integration between them, therefore we are going to connect them with the help of an amazing automation software, Pabli Connect. Now here we have Google Drive in our trigger and Instagram in our action. So we are going to connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically share Instagram post as soon as a new file will be uploaded in our Google Drive folder. So here I want that as soon as I'm going to upload a new file in this particular folder with a name as new post, that file should automatically be shared on my Instagram account. So for creating this automation, we simply have to connect our Google Drive with Instagram and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by tapping this URL pabli.com slash connect. Once you will reach here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations now because here i'm already an existing user therefore i'm clicking on sign in this is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by pabli to create this automation we are going to use pabli connect so let's click on access now and it has taken us towards the dashboard of Fably Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows and we can also create folders here to save those workflows. Now, in order to create a new workflow, we need to click on this create workflow option. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Post Instagram media from Google Drive. Okay, so after giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save the work. So here I'm going to select this test integrations folder. Now let's click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. So what are these windows? These are trigger and action. Now what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the two main principles on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the workflow and the actions are going to follow that command. Now let's suppose we are going to take Google Drive in our trigger and Instagram in our action and we want that as soon as a new post will be and we want that as soon as a new image or a new file will be uploaded in our folder in Google Drive, automatically that same file should be shared as a post on our Instagram. Here we can find that our action is the response towards our trigger because when the trigger happens, that means when the file is uploaded in our folder in Google Drive, then only in the response the post is shared, otherwise not. Okay. Now, after understanding the concept, let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and that is Google Drive. So let me select that. And the next is the trigger event. Now what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So here our trigger event will be new file in specific folder. So whenever a new file will be added in our specific folder in Google Drive, automatically this workflow is going to trigger. So now we will click on connect. And because I've already built the connection with my Google Drive account, I'm going to select the existing connection. In order to build a new connection, you need to click on this add new connection button and then you have to click on sign in with Google. Okay, so let me click on save. And here we can find that with this very easily, Google Drive is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. Now we will move further. Here it is asking us to select the folder or the subfolder. So which folder you want to select over here? Let me take you towards my Google Drive. So recently I have created a folder with a name as new post and let me open it and show you. And I want that as soon as I'm going to upload an image or a file here in this particular folder, then the response of that image should be captured here in Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to select the new post folder over here and we can find that it is already selected. Okay. So now let us click on the save and send test request button. But before that, let me tell you that because Google Drive is based on the polling time of 10 minutes, therefore, when we are going to click on the save and send test request button, here we are going to receive the response of the last added file or image in the Google Drive folder. So first of all, let me take you towards Google Drive. And here I'm going to show you one thing. This is my folder. We have to click on this three dots and we have to click on the share option. We will click on share. And here, before capturing the response, we need to give the access of this particular folder to anyone with link. 
So this is very important step. First of all, before capturing the response in Public Connect, here we need to provide the access to this folder that anyone with the link can open it or view it. Okay. But if we will restrict the access, then we will not be able to share the content from this particular folder to Instagram. Okay. Now let's click on done. So once again, let us open the folder. And this is the last added file in my folder. Let me open it and show you. So this is a picture of beautiful flowers. Now I want to share the same picture on my Instagram account. Okay. So for that, we are going to capture the response of this particular image in Pably Connect. First of all, so let us click on this save and send test request button. And here we have received the response. In the response, we have received all the details. Along with the details, we have also received the web content link. So this is the link of the image. Now we are going to share the same image on Instagram. For that, let us move towards our next action step. And here in the action application, we are going to select Instagram. Okay, so let us search for Instagram over here. Instagram for business. And now we will select the action event that is publish photo. Click on connect. Okay, so now I'm going to click on add new connection to build a connection with my Instagram for business account. Let's click on connect with Instagram for business. And here our authorization has become successful. So because I was already logged into my Instagram account, the authorization has become successful very easily. Now we have to enter the details in these fields. First of all, it is asking us to select the Instagram account which we want to use. Here I have already selected it as Michael Karras. Now, the next is the photo URL as well as the caption. So here we need to enter the URL of the image which we want to share. We want to share the image from our Google Drive folder and we have already received the details of that image. Let us simply map that. Now what is mapping? Mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given and here are all the details. We need to map the web content link of the image. Let us select it and it will be mapped over here. Now when we have mapped this image link, automatically it is going to replace with each and every response. That means it has become dynamic now. So now whenever a new file will be uploaded, a new image will be uploaded in our Google Drive folder, automatically this photo URL is going to be changed with a new URL of that new image. But in case if we will enter it manually, then it will become static and then it is not going to change with each and every response. Then the workflow will get stuck and we will not be able to automatically post Instagram media from Google Drive. Okay. Now the next it is asking us is the caption. What caption you want to post along with the image. Here I want to post the name of the image along with the caption. Okay. So this is the name of the image. Nature Beauty Captured Colorful Flower. I want to use this title of the image as my caption and I want to map it so that it could change with each and every response. Okay, but first of all, we can find that because after the image name dot jpg is given. So therefore, we will first have to format the name. We will split the name with the help of text formatter. So what we are going to do, we will add one more action step here in between. And here I'm going to search for text formatter by Pably. So text formatter by Pably is amazing feature which allows us to format the text according to our choice. So let us select split text as we want to split the name of the image. Let's click on connect. And here, first of all, we need to enter the text which we want to split. So we want to split the name of the image that is nature, beauty, captured, colorful flower. Let me select it and it will be mapped. Now, because we have mapped this name, it is going to be changed with each and every response. And with this, we will be able to format the name of all the images and we will be able to split the name and separate this dot JPG from each of the image without any manual efforts. Okay. Now, the next thing it is asking us is what is the separator by using what you want to separate this particular text. So I want to separate the text after this dot so here the separator will be the full stop or the dot okay so i have entered it now and now it is asking the segment index what index of this particular text you want so here i'm going to select all so that we will receive both the texts now let's click on save and send test request button and here we have received the response and we can find that the text is split between nature beauty captured flower this is the name of the image and it has removed dot jpg from this particular image now we are going to map the same text over here which we have recently generated so this is the name of the image. I have mapped it over here as the caption and now we are going to click on save and send test request button. And here we can find that we have received the response. In the response, we have received the ID. This means the post is shared on our Instagram account. Let's go and check and we will refresh it here. And yes, we can find that the image of these beautiful flowers are shared over here on our Instagram account. This means that our workflow is successful and we have successfully built a connection between Google Drive and Instagram. So now whenever we are going to add a new file in our folder in Google Drive, automatically that same file, that same image will be shared on our Instagram. Let's check this workflow once again here. I'm going to upload a new image. So let me upload a new image here in my folder. Let us click on this new button and we'll click on file upload. So I want to upload this home decor idea image. Let me open it. 
so this image with the name as home decor idea is uploaded and the name of this particular image is home decor idea dot jpg now we will go and check on our instagram account that whether automatically this particular image is shared on our instagram or not let me open it and show you so this is the image of home decor idea so let's go and check and yes here we can find that the new post is shared let me open it and show you and we can find that automatically the name is also changed as home decor idea and the dot gpt is removed from this name this means that our workflow is running perfectly fine let's go back towards public connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow so we have taken three simple steps trigger and two actions in trigger we have taken google drive and in action we have taken text formatter by pabli as well as instagram for business and we have connected all of them by using pabli connect in such a way that now whenever a new file will be uploaded in a specific folder in google drive automatically the same file will also be shared on our instagram in the form of a new post okay so in the same manner very easily you can create this automation and this will enable you to automatically post instagram media from google drive this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate many other applications by using pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can directly reach out to us at support@pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you want to ask any pricing related issue then you can directly reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget it to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations